a new documentary takes its name from a time in the life of the late John Lennon. A half century ago, the former Beatle was living apart from his wife, Yoko Ono, in a relationship with the couple's assistant. May Pang tells her version of what happened in the lost weekend, a love story. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here now with more on the new film. Sandy. Liz, it's actually a beautiful love story. What John Lennon called his lost weekend was that time of drinking and drugs in L.A. that became notorious. But less well known is a period of stability that followed when the former Beatle was right here in the city with his lover. Their time together lasted a lot longer than a weekend, and it was by no means totally lost. But the relationship between John Lennon and May Pang was most definitely a love story, one that began when her employer came to her with a startling proposal. Yoko walked into my office and said, John and I are not getting along. I want you to go out with him. She was reluctant at first, but the young woman and the famous Beatle were soon together first among the famous in L.A., and then later at a small apartment on the east side. And we faced the East River, and he loved sitting out there, especially, you know, on a summer night. The view recalled his native Liverpool, where Lennon had grown up. He came from lower to middle class, and so he appreciated people. He appreciated everybody that's on the street. Here, Lennon could be himself, and he was guided by May Pang, who grew up in Spanish Harlem. He loved the city. He loved being able to walk around. He sang at the garden with Elton John and even reconnected with Paul McCartney, prompting John to ask May, What do you think if I write with Paul again? But it was not to be in part because Yoko Ono was a constant presence in their life, calling them daily. I don't think she even thought for a minute that we were going to fall in love. Their love affair lasted 18 months, and May Pang told me their physical relationship continued for a while after Lennon returned to Yoko Ono and a fancier life on Central Park West. Did you ever find a man whose qualities added up to John Lennon's? Not quite. Not quite. Pang is the mother of two with nothing left to prove. She just wants to set the record straight. The former assistant was a part of rock history, of course. But I like the fact she also helped John Lennon reconnect with his son, Julian, and she remains friends with Julian to this day. On Sunday evening, I'll be with May Pang for a conversation following the 6.50 p.m. showing of the documentary at the Angelica Theater in the Village. And she'll be answering any and all questions from those in attendance, Dave and Liz. She's a wonderful woman and the subject of a terrific movie. I still can't get over the fact that John Lennon called this area home for such I a know. long time. You know, he's such a was a fixture in this community. And you know, he was beloved by cops mm -hmm. and garbage folks, and that's because he grew up amongst similar people in Liverpool. Interesting look at a complicated relationship between the two. Yeah. All right, Sandy, thank you.